Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Jaquesta, Florida, on this Thursday, the 30th of December, 2021, the sixth day of Christmas. My name is Letty Anderson, and I'm a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. The service is streamed live every weekday morning, 9 a.m. exclusively on Zoom. <clears throat> if you are watching this after the fact and would like to participate in the live service, you'll find the link at the Good Shepherd website, goodsheponline.org, on the prayer and prayer page under the worship drop-down list, or just call the church office for information. So indeed, this is the sixth day of Christmas, and we also welcome you, Pam and Bob. Good morning. Behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Our first canticle this morning is the Venite. Let us say this in unison. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia, to us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. <clears throat> the Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 20 and 21. We'll say the Psalms in unison with a slight break between the two Psalms. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you. Send you help from his holy place and strengthen you out of Zion. Remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Grant you your heart's desire and prosper all your plans. We will shout for joy at your victory and triumph in the name of God, our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. <clears throat> now I know that the Lord gives victory to his anointed. He will answer him out of his holy heaven with the victorious strength of his right hand. Some put their trust in chariots and some in horses, but we call upon the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall down, but we will arise and stand upright. O oh Lord, give victory to the king and answer us when we call. <clears throat> the king rejoices in your strength, O oh Lord, how greatly he exalts your victory. You have given him his heart's desire. You have not denied him the request of his lips. For you meet him with the blessings of prosperity and set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked you for life, and you gave it to him, length of days, forever and ever. His honor is great because of your victory. Splendor and majesty have, been, have you bestowed upon him. 
<coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> For you will give him everlasting felicity and will make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king puts his trust in the Lord because of the loving kindness of the Most High. He will not fall. Your right hand will lay hold upon all your enemies. Your right hand will seize all those who hate you. You will make them like a fiery furnace at the time of your appearing, O Lord. You will swallow them up in your wrath and fire shall consume them. You will destroy their offspring from the land and their descendants from among the peoples of the earth. Though they intend evil against you and devise wicked schemes, yet they shall not prevail. For you will put them to flight and aim your arrows at them. Be exalted, O Lord, in your might. We will sing and praise your power. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Good morning, Debbie and Pam and Bob, Pete and Julie. <clears throat> Our first lesson this morning is from First Kings. After this, the son of the woman, the mistress of a house, <clears throat> became ill. His illness was so severe that there was no breath left in him. She then said to Elijah, what have you against me, O man of God? You have come to me to bring my sin, of, to bring my sin to remembrance and to cause the death of my son. But he said to her, give me your son. He took him from her bosom carried him up into the upper chamber where he was lodging and laid him on his own bed. He cried out to the Lord, O oh Lord, my God, have you brought calamity even upon the widow with whom I am staying by killing her son? <clears throat> then he stretched himself upon the child three times and cried out to the Lord, O oh Lord, my God, let this child's life come unto him again. The Lord listened to the voice of Elijah. The life of the child came into him again, and he revived. Elijah took the child, brought him down from the upper chamber into the house, and gave him to his mother. Then Elijah said, See, your son is alive. So the woman said to Elijah, now that I know that you are a man of God and that the word of the Lord in your mouth is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our second <clears throat> canticle this morning is the third song of Isaiah. We'll say the song, the canticle in unison. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples, but over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open, by day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Our second lesson this morning is from the third letter of John. 
The elder to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health, just as it is well with your soul. I was overjoyed when some of the friends arrived and testified to your faithfulness to the truth, namely, how you walk in the truth. I have no greater joy than this, to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Beloved, you do faithfully whatever you do for the friends, even though they are strangers to you. They have testified to your love before the church. You will do well to send them on in a manner worthy of God, for they began their journey for the sake of Christ, accepting no support from non-believers. Therefore, we ought to support such people so that we may become co-workers with the truth. <clears throat> I have written something to the church, but Diophtrephes, who likes to put himself first, does not acknowledge our authority. So if I come, I will call attention to what he is doing in spreading false charges against us. And not content with those charges, he refuses to welcome the friends and even prevents those who want to do so and expels them from the church. Beloved, I do not intimate what is evil, but intimate what is good. Whoever does good is from God. Whoever does evil has not seen God. Everyone has testified favor favorably about Demetrius, and so has the truth itself. We also testify for him, and you know that our testimony is true. I have much to write to you, but I would rather not write with pen and ink. <clears throat> Instead, I hope to see you soon, and we will walk together face to face. Peace to you. The friends send you their greetings. Greet the friends there, each by name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our third canticle this morning is the song of Zechariah. Let us say this canticle in unison. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Um, <clears throat> the collect of the day today is the collect appointed for the first Sunday after Christmas Day. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light, enkindled in our hearts, may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Direct us, O Lord, in all our doings with your most gracious favor and further us with your continual help that in all our works begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name and finally, by your mercy, obtain everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Iran, Jerusalem, and the Middle East. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of Toliara, Madagascar, the Right Reverend Dr. Samatiana Johnson, Rosafine Verlambo, Bishop. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray also for our parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Julia, Bob and Pam, Judy, Ashley, Mindy, Dawn, Samara and Dash, Anthony, Olivia and Vincent, Peter, Joe, Sal and Colleen, Chris, Brooke and family, Marcia, Pat, 
Jim and Jerry, Debbie, Anna, Carrie, Carlos, Danielle, Jessica, Maggie, Don, Arnie, Cheryl, and Tammy. We pray also today for our serve ministries, remembering especially our office volunteers, that the ministry, the mission of Good Shepherd may be expanded through the volunteer service of many of our members and our 12-step groups, that members of the parish and the wider community may be freed from the bonds of addiction through discussion and mutual support. <clears throat> Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family, strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Thank you, Ian. Ian asks for our prayers for Christian fellowship and spiritual enrichment for the members of our youth group who are currently on a ski retreat in North Carolina. But sadly, I don't think there's a lot of snow there because it's in the 50s but I'm sure that they will find fun things to do and just hanging out together away from home, I think is always good. And I, of course, would like your prayers for all those who have COVID, all those who care for those who with COVID, all our doctors and nurses and healthcare workers. Um, I think that without with the new strain, the Omicron strain, some of the hospitals are going to fill up again. So I'd last your prayers for all those who are taking care of those people. And because a lot of those people are families, let us pray for families. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who set us the solitary in families, we commend to thy continual care the homes in which thy people live. Put far from them, we beseech thee, every root of bitterness, the desire of vainglory, and the pride of life. Fill them with faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patient, patience, godliness, Knit together in constant affection those who in holy wedlock have been made one flesh. Turn the hearts of the parents to the children and the hearts of the children to the parents. And so enkindle fervent charity among us all that we may ever bore be kindly affection one to another through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Ian asked for pray for safe. New Year's Eve celebrations, especially for young people, that they be safe. And the other thing that I would like to ask your prayers for, all those who are alone or feeling lonely during this time of holidays, it's not for all the most happy time. So let's pray for those who live alone. Almighty God, whose son had nowhere to lay his head. Grant that those who live alone may not be lonely in their solitude, but that following in his steps, they may find fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son 
that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all so much this morning for joining us. And we'll be here one more day tomorrow, which will be New Year's Eve. Um, so have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week. And we'll see you here tomorrow.